Oh my, my friend's calling me. Oh. I said I'm making a YouTube video. You want to say hi? Hey. I can't see. This is day two. Let me see. This is day two of the video diary. And honestly, today was confidence took a decline. I feel like I'm going through another spiritual awakening. I feel like I'm going through like a restart in my own journey because I feel like I wasn't really healing myself. Like, I wasn't really into it when I was in that situation for months. I was kind of just going back to my old toxic ways and doing toxic things. And, you know, it was really sad. Like, I'm sad. Like, I've still been sad about the about situation. I've been overthinking a lot. Like, I've been coming up with stories in my head i'm trying to just figure out i'm trying to find answers because you always want to feel like you know me i kind of do have a victim mentality i'm not gonna lie and it's really bad you know i know i have my issues i know i have my problem but i feel like the way that my mindset is and the way that i you know deal with people or whatever like i don't feel like I mean, I could be judgmental, but I feel like when it comes to, like, somebody doing something to me, I'm so forgiving and understanding that I, you know, I let them back. So, it's like, when people don't have the same grace, it makes me feel like I'm a victim. It makes me feel like they walked out on me and they gave up on me, and I still feel that way, and I cannot help. Like, you know, I really like conversations, like... I like hearing debates and stuff and like I knew that for a while like I always like listening to debates and conversations and stuff always like having deep conversations and getting in deep but I feel like now in my life like I really be needing like some type of enlightenment some type of guidance I, I just feel like I don't be showing up for myself enough like and it's like I be too hard on myself like I be thinking like girl you should know better like all the stuff you say like your views your morals and stuff like that like once you like somebody like that all that stuff be put to the test like i swear you be letting people slip and slope and you be letting people ice skate and that's not good for me like if i'm if I, how do i feel this way about somebody if i would tell one of my friends like oh yeah if he's talking to you like this or he not texting or he not communicating with you or he say this to you cut him off don't talk to him it's like, how can I go and say things like that and then not, you know what I'm saying? Like, so that was a test. Well, I don't, I've actually heard some videos and stuff. Like, I've been watching videos. Like, they'll come on my free page. You were saying, like, the universe and God don't test you and stuff like that. But I don't know if I 100% believe that because it's like, oh, why else? And then a lot of stuff be happening for your character development. But then I still feel like that's kind of a test. <laughs> so I don't know. But I don't take it as like something negative. Like, oh yeah, the universe is picking at me. God is picking at me. I just think it like, yeah, you're supposed to just... This is their way of like, show me who you say you are. If you really say, if you really are who you say you are. If these really your morals, your views, your opinions, your boundaries stand on it i feel like that's really that's why a situation like this happened like you say you don't want nothing like this to ever happen again you say you learn from your mistakes you say you learned your lesson let's see if you really learned it and spoiler maybe i failed and i didn't learn nothing so you know i i mean i guess i did technically learn something i've been trying to work on changing the negative the narrative changing narrative basically looking on the bright side but also still being truthful and not delusional and understanding where i went wrong and how to fix it moving forward 
fix it within yourself, not with the person because, you know, I mean, you never know. Realizations that I learned is I can actually be toxic to people. And it's crazy because it seems like that's something you sure know. But for some reason, I just never really looked at it that way. Like, I mean, you toxic. Like, my attention to be pure. Like, I, like for the longest, I always say it, ever since I was, like, probably 17. Like, ever since I've been through, like, my first, like, world to make, I was like, I need to be a voice. Like, I want a platform. Like, I want a platform because... I want to speak my truth and I want to be authentic and I want to be genuine. I want to be myself and I want people to feel that and I want people to feel comfortable enough to interact with me. And I just like want to be a change in somebody's life. Like I want to just leave like a positive mark on the world and that's just all I want. I feel like when I speak. Like I said, when I speak, it means, when I, I mean business, straight business. Like, I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. And I just need to work on boundaries, sticking to what I say, standing on things I say, not conforming, not sweeten things up. Why well, do you need to sweeten things up? I need to tone it down. I ain't gonna lie. I'm thinking, like, yeah, I'm gonna be smiling. It's like, what's wrong with me? Is something wrong with me? Because I let people get in my head. I let people manipulate me and gaslight me into feeling like, it's something wrong with me. When you speak your mind, you're aggressive, you're rude, you're mean, you're nasty, you got an attitude, you're always mad, you got an issue with everything, you're argumentative, you're crazy, you're insane. I let people gaslight me into feeling that way about myself when I'm really just having a human experience. I'm really a human. I'm really a human, like dead, really a human. And I'm having my human experience, and this is how I choose to express my feelings. And this is how it may come off, and it may make you feel uncomfortable, you may hate it, but it's me. And I'm not going to change it for nobody. Like, yes, okay, tone down, whatever, sweeten up your delivery. But I'm not going to sweeten my, up my delivery for Todd. Who is Todd? Like, I'm just a girl, a woman, actually. That means business. And... That's it. That's really it. And I'm trying to think what else I had to say. It's 21 minutes. But yeah. One day this. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. <laughs>
So I'm kind of reflecting. A lot of people have been getting into spirituality, which is really good. I feel like for our generation, we need something because, you know, we was taught on very toxic. I know most black, pe black people were very taught on very toxic um, Christianity views. So it's like, we need something. Like, of course, I believe in God. I will never deny God. I will never say, oh, God's not real. I will never. I'm not an atheist. As in day. I'm just not like into religion. And, you know, as you get older, you kind of just don't really identify with a lot of views that your parents taught you. And religion is one of those. Like, like the whole, like, oh, you didn't go to church with us. We didn't go to church. Oh, you're denying God, this and that. Baby, I believe. I pray every night. I just don't identify with being a Christian. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not atheist. I'm just not religious. I'm more so spiritual. And... I talk to God as if I'm talking to one of my friends. Like, I don't feel like, you know, he's somebody that you can't talk to. Like, he's somebody that just, like, oh, don't ever question him. Like, I don't think it's that. I just think we really, like, coexist because I'm in charge of my life. Like, anything I want, I can speak into this in the same way how when he um, let there be light, I can do the same thing. They say mouth is powerful, so manifestation. Like, it's just... I feel like Christianity and spirituality, they have, we share the same views. Like, that's what I want to see. I feel like every religion has similar views. Like, we all believe that there's a God. So, just like, religion separates when it's supposed to bring people together. And I just feel like that should be a lot. Instead, it's just dividing us. Hey, guys. I'm going to my hair. Look at all my ears. Edge of room. Wonder why. Yeah. I'm in the house. Daughter, shut up right now. Take it on my nerves so about why I'm in the house looking like this or whatever. Baby, this is the baddie lifestyle. What do you mean? Like, do you not know how to be a baby? Like, what? You know, we just get cute for no reason. We get cute to say in the house. Like, that's what baddies do. Are you new? Like, what? It looks better than the $100 bang I had paid for in October. I'll tell you that. Like, it's giving very much. <clears throat> no, anime girly. See her in the back? I'm gonna be here for Halloween, so it's actually perfect that I know how to do bangs now. Because I can just cut this into a bob. I don't really belong. But I really want to do something this Halloween. Like, I don't care how old I am. I still never been to Virginia. I still never been to New York. Not New York. I still never been to a Halloween party. I'm preparing myself for fall because I really feel like summer is really. Like, it's July. But you know, everybody could go back to school um, in August. So, technically, summer is over for like a lot of people. But for me, summer never started because I've been I've been doing school since June 2020. Um, I had like you know seven months. I think I have seven or six months off. Um, but still, my real birthday is going to be not later. Like Comes the bright as a warning, reality setting. We don't wanna do this anymore. Can't get through with this no more. I wish I knew. I wish I knew you wanted me more. Look at me different, so I let you see my body, 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 body.